Welcome to the second painting video, and this time I'm painting the Exalted Flame of Zeej. So, I'm painting demons of Zeej again, and I wonder who needs another demon in his army. Thanks Campbell for another commission. There is also no specified color scheme, so I'm freestyling again. I received the model assembled, but there were some nut marks and seam lines. So, same procedure, I clean the parts. To get rid of the seam lines, I use liquid green stuff to fill in the gaps. A sculpting tool and a silicone brush comes in handy for maneuvering the liquid green stuff into place. The model didn't sit flush on the base, so I added some liquid green stuff to secure it to the base. And to finish up, I used plastic cement to seal the gaps. After the cement cures, the gaps closes and you get a smooth finish. Once it's cleaned, I prime the model. This is my first time using a Zensil highlight on the Mini. The reason for priming it this way is to provide a natural gradient for the base coat. From searching Exalted Flamers on Google, it's pretty clear that they're just better flamers. Who are you? I'm you, but better! So in the last painting video, I painted the flames blue. I decided to use a purple for the base, since historically, purple is associated with royalty. So it can now flex on the normie flavors. Plus I wanted the color to be more vibrant compared to the regular flamers. Black for the eyes, red for the gums, and white for the teeth. I apply a yellowy brown wash for the teeth to give it an off-white color, plus to shade in the details. I then apply red wash for the gums and the roots of the teeth. Then I add a purple wash to the body to bring out the shadows of the skin. I mix the purple I use for the base color with white to make a brighter shade. Then I add a light dry brush to specific areas of the mini. I didn't want to overdo the highlights because that would obscure the textures on the skin. I'm gonna use OSL aka object source lighting for the flames. So I used my airbrush to apply red first. I used red because I wanted the flames to be really intense. Then I layer over that with a pink. Just because it's a lighter gradient of red, plus it's magical fire. And to me, pink is pretty magical. And for the tips of the flames, I use a yellow. It's not a transitional color from pink, but I needed a contrasting color for purple and this was the only spot I could think of that wouldn't look too out of place. I added an orange glaze to the fire to blend the colors together, but I did overdo the orange, so I'll fix it later. And lastly, apply a shallow dry brush of white to pick out the hot spots. I used brown effects paint for the base, using a sculpting tool to push them into place. As you can see here, I got some unwanted overspray of yellow on the skin, to fix it, I use a light purple dry brush to layer over the mistake. It's a little time consuming, but it's better to slowly build up layers rather than overdoing it. Then I give it a brown dry brush as the first highlight tone. Then I add a heavy brown wash to bring out the shadows. Then using the same brown dry brush to add more definition. Then I mix brown and white to make a bright highlight. Then I add a light dry brush to pick out terrain features. I did not say anything bad about Cicada. Now, to add a little variation to the base, I add some tufts to provide visual variation and contrast to the base. I choose to use bigger patches of grass since it's a bigger base. Basing was very similar to the last painting project I did, but learning from that experience, I should have done the base OSL after I placed the tufts, because the light from the flames was somewhat reflected off the grass. So I airbrush a red followed by a pink, and finally a yellow. Remember how I mentioned that I overdid the orange glaze while I was blending? To reduce the orange, I used an airbrush to bring back the yellow while reducing the orange. I had to redo the pinks and yellows just to control it, because I did get some unwanted spit of colors from the airbrush. This may be due to over thinning the paints. Finally, I paint the rims of the base black.
All together, I think it fits nicely with the other flavors of Zinch and Abaddon. Personally, I think the yellow worked out better than I thought it would. It was really a last ditch effort to get a contrast in color for purple. But it does feel more Slanesh than Zinch. Please give me Huggy Wuggies. How could this happen to me? Made my mistakes. Got no hair to cut. Thank you for watching the video and see you in the next one.